In this video, we will highlight the system simulation function within GXWorks 3. For a long time, we've had the ability to simulate, without any hardware, a program or a project that was written within a single instance of GXWorks 3. We've had the ability to connect to an HMI and see how the HMI program, again without any hardware, interfaces to the PLC program. But system simulation is a little bit different. It takes it a step further. System simulation allows us to connect multiple PLCs and operate in different ways than a standard simulation. For example, here in this setup we have a System 1 configured with a safety processor. We're also simulating the CC-Link IE Field Master Module. Here we see Station 0 Network 101. And then on System 2, we're simulating just a standard PLC with an Ethernet module that's configured for Ethernet and CC-Link IE field communication. For the CC-Link IE field side of that module, it's again Network 101, but this is station number 5. In our software in the simulator, we're able to connect these two PLCs virtually as though they were connected with actual hardware and with an actual network in between. This allows us, as we're writing our program, to see how our program is going to affect another PLC in the system just by simulating that logic. Here we've got some logic written in this standard PLC. We can execute our code, turn on this bit, and it shoves some data into network memory. Over here, in the safety CPU, that data shows up in the safety processor. And vice versa, we can write our safety logic via simulation, and when we execute that logic, we can see how that affects the other PLC in the system. This feature allows us to program from anywhere, anytime, without any hardware. Next, we'll stop monitoring both of these windows and we'll learn about a new feature of System Simulator. One of the useful features of System Simulator is that it allows us to do something we've never been able to do before simulate SD card functions. We can create a virtual SD memory card, just an area of memory on our computer, and that allows us to allocate a section of memory that will be used for simulating functions within the PLC that require an SD card, such as data logging or similar activities. If we want to view the files that are generated by our program, we can view them in File Explorer right in Windows. For example, if we are generating data logging files, they will show up in this area of memory and we can look at those files within the simulator. Thank you for joining us for this instructional segment.